Hi, welcome to Cackle. We're New Zealand's headset experts. My name's Lisa, and today I'm going to take you through the setup of the Jabra 9330E wireless headset. And this is going to be set up with a telephone, so basic telephone which has a headset port. Okay, so that's on the side. This means that when you're using your wireless headset to enter the phone, you'll be able to just press your headset button to answer the call. You won't have to lift the receiver to answer and hang up your calls. Okay, so let's get started. When you open your box, you will receive these items. So you receive the setup guides, warranty information, and a power adapter for the base unit, an RJ to RJ telephone call. You'll receive the base unit, battery, the microphone boom arm and the microphone on it, the ear hook and a headband. So for our exercises, choose either for your setup whether you want to use the headband or the ear hook. So I'm going to set up with the ear hook. So what I'd like you to do is take your battery and your microphone boom arm and line them up. So that's got plastic protrusions and that has some little rectangular slots. Line up the shape gently and it'll slide on and guide it up, so movement of sliding upwards. Not dissimilar to putting in a light bulb sometimes, you match it up and just slide it into place with a bit of a twist or something. Now, then the wearing styles are very simple. They simply push on and pull off. So pop that on. You can rotate the microphone arm round to get the right um, to get the right fit so the angle is coming down towards your mouth. Now popping that aside, that's a headset set up. What we'd like to do now is take your base unit and under the rectangle there just pop your fingers under, prise it up, gently prise it and then squeeze the two other corner connections and it comes off similar to a bottle for a child, child lock on a, on a bottle. Now place the base unit down, we'll grab the RJ to RJ telephone cable. This telephone cable needs to go into the telephone and into the base unit. Where it goes into the base unit is the port on my right hand side, so if you'll land, you'll left, and it's got a picture of a telephone, you probably won't be able to see that. Then, the, this cable then goes into the headset port, which is here. Now your headset port could either be an RJ, square one like that one, looks like the telephone jack connection, or it could be a 2.5mm pin that needs to fit, or a 35 if it's one of those, you'll need an extra cable, so you'll need to contact us to get the right cable for the setup. Then what I'd like you to do is take a power adapter, plug that in, it's turned off at my connection there, safety first, and then we'll plug the power in. So the power goes into the power port, which is just sort of central there in the middle. <coughs> then what I'd like to do is taking your headset, place the headset, guide it down into the charging cradle. Um, very simple action. Now you'll see that this is where it charges and that's a terminal. If this is pushed too hard down or forced down, sometimes they can bend. Now that is not covered under warranty. So we do urge you to be gentle and just guide it down and fit snugly into place. Now when you first get your headset, you'll need to charge it for three hours. So when I turn it on, what happens is the blue telephone one comes on, you'll end up with a flash on your headset, and eventually the green LEDs at the front will light up. These, these LEDs, when four of them, there they are. When the four of them light up, mine was fully charged before this. So they, when they're four and they're solid, that means you have a full charge. If you only have one lit, that means only a quarter of the charge is, is taking place within the headset battery. So, and when they're flashing, that means they're charging. It's best to try, do your setup in the afternoon when you leave work, so you can leave it charging, and then come back in the morning, you'll be ready to go. To make a telephone call when it's fully charged, you'll take your headset, put it on, and then simply press the headset button to get a clear dial tone, then you're free to dial out and make a call. If you don't have a clear dial tone, we'll just take that off for now. If you don't have a clear dial tone, you'll need to work your way through these telephone polarity channels to get the clear dial tone. A is a factory default setting. Um, a and G cover 90% of telephone systems in New Zealand. 
but um, B tends to be for Cisco phones. So work through those, holding the ear, holding the headset away from the ear, because sometimes it can squeal in between, and we don't want you to damage your hearing. Once you have the clear dial tone, make a call to a friend or colleague, and we'll play with the volume once you're on the call to get it comfortable for everybody. So the microphone volume, or the, known as the transmit volume, is controlled by the grey dial, which is under the cover. If you get feedback or an echo, you need to turn the volume down a little bit on your microphone. To alter the volume, the receiver volume, so the volume of the voice that you can hear of the other person, simply use the small lever on the back of the headset and push it forwards or back to alter the volume. You can do that midway during conversation, it won't affect the other person, it's just for your comfort. Now, a one extra feature, oh, there's a couple of features I will discuss with the 9330. So to put it into mute mode, that same lever, you just indent it down once. And then you'll see the red LED, the lips with the line through mean that it's in mute. So the other person won't be able to hear you having a conversation offline. To turn it off, repeat the process. Just press it in once, and the LED has gone. That's a mute function. Um, Okay, you can have it, um, the 9330 for hot disking with the spare battery, so it's ready to go. So you have nine hours talk time with a fully charged battery, and with a spare battery, you could have a second shift come in, or third, um, and you just swap the batteries over and they're always ready to go for the next shift. That is purchased as an accessory. Another accessory would be the neck band, and the neck band is an alternative wearing style to the ear hook or the headband. And it's like wearing sunglasses backwards. It helps distribute the weight um, for someone who's wearing it all day. And it, but it's also it's mainly for presentation and people who don't like something over the head or something just hanging over the ear. The ear hook is very lightweight and very comfortable, so it's easy to wear all day. Once you have everything set up, I would suggest to you to put your cover back on. So to do that, gently line it up, push in the corners, and then push down on the back. That keeps it safe and tidy so that users can't go changing the channel or things not working on them. That's about it for the 9330 setup with a telephone which has a headset port. Very straightforward. Um, if you have any other queries, feel free to contact us on the free call in New Zealand 0508 222 553. So it's uh, we can be found on Google and YouTube with all of our setup videos and troubleshooting. Our website also has other written documents with similar information. So the website is www.cackle.co.nz. That's cackle with a C A C K L E. Thank you very much for your time, and we hope you enjoy and have every success with your wireless headset. Contact us if you have any queries. Thank you. Bye for now.